Dogs are supposed to be man's best friend, but do they take that friendship to the afterlife as well? This isn't a question for visitors to the Highland Lawn Cemetery in Terre Haute. This is a reality. Because you may run into a ghost of a man playing with his ghostly dog, Stiffy Green, a bulldog with piercing green eyes who guards his owner's grave. Myths and folklore inhabit cultures all around the world. Things like the Loch Ness Monster, Yeti, and Leprechaun tend to integrate their way into people's lives. And although Hawkins, Indiana, and the Demogorgon may not exist, throughout Indiana we have our own myths and folklore that we will explore together. My name is Casey Terry, and this is Hoosier Lore. Welcome to Hoosier Lore. I am your host, Casey Terry, with the Indiana Historical Society. They often provide a cautionary, moralistic, or belief-confirming component that changes with the times to reflect current societal concerns and fears. These tales play an important role in helping us develop and understand our community and the world around us. In this series, we are going to explore the myths and folklore that originated in Indiana. John Gradle Heinel was born in 1844 in the Czech Republic. He immigrated with his family to the United States as a child and made his way to Terre Haute as a young man. It was here that he established his own greenhouse and met his future wife, Mary Debs. Heinel was an enterprising man and had built up his business with several greenhouses and floral establishments, including a flower plantation and hothouses in Florida. He even operated a travel agency in the 1890s. Heinel was also a leader in his community, serving as the president of Rose Dispensary, a clinic and pharmacy that provided free care to people in need, as well as the vice president of Rose Orvin's house. Heinel died on New Year's Eve in 1920 and was placed in the family mausoleum in Highland Lawn Cemetery in Terre Haute. While his death was a large loss for his community, it was a greater loss for the family bulldog who was fiercely protective of his loving master. After Heinel's burial, the saddened pup spent all his time guarding the mausoleum until he finally died on the steps of his master's tomb. Mary had the pup stuffed and placed inside the tomb to live out his afterlife with his favorite human. Since the 1960s, there have been many sightings of a ghostly man and his dog walking around the cemetery and surrounding neighborhoods. It has become a tradition for thrill seekers to visit the cemetery after dark, hoping to catch a glimpse of Heinel and his dog. Visitors to the mausoleum have even dubbed the dog Stiffy Green because of the way his eyes glow. While this is a heartwarming story, Stiffy Green was never a real dog. He was actually a ceramic lawn ornament that sat on the Heinel's front porch. As it was one of Heinel's favorite lawn ornaments, Mary placed the ceramic bulldog in the family tomb, where it sat until the 1980s. Thrill seekers did often visit the mausoleum and would catch the glowing green eyes of the dog when they shone their flashlights into the space. After the dog was damaged through vandalism, it was donated to the Vigo County Historical Society for safekeeping. In the comments, let us know what you thought of this tale and how it could be changed to fit modern day. If you enjoy Hoosier lore, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out indianahistory.org for more content.